ताम दाम दंड भेद स्टाइल ऑफ डी के शिव कुमार अमित शाह वर्सेस हु expressed in this blog are hosted on my own website are strictly personal and do not reflect the views of any organization namaskar hello and welcome friends to straight bat my weekly video blog where as the title suggests i comment with a straight bat now for the last decade many political commentators have been obsessively asking one question modi versus who modi banam kaun who is that leader who can really take on prime minister modi well allow me today to pose a second less asked question but one which is possibly just as important at election time amit shah versus who who is that person who in the opposition has the appetite like the union home minister for a no holds barred political fight someone who can play the sam dam dand bhed style of no prisoners politics a kind of a moral politics well here's the news my friends the congress the principal opposition party may finally have found an answer to that vexed question in the karnataka strongman and deputy chief minister dk shiv kumar or dk as he is called This week the Karnataka leader flew in to Bangalore from Bangalore all the way to Shimla to the Himalayan state to try and resolve the Congress crisis there. You see six Congress MLAs had cross voted in the Rajya Sabha elections in Himachal Pradesh. The Congress candidate lawyer politician Abhishek Manu Singhvi lost as a result and the Congress government was pushed to the brink. the only surviving congress government in north india so the air of desperation to save it was obvious enter dk who had just ensured that all three congress candidates in karnataka won their rajya sabha seats comfortably in fact actually two bjp mlas cross voted here thereby ensuring the resounding defeat of a bjp supported jds candidate Well just 24 hours later DK had packed his bags and was on his way to Shimla where with the help of another astute political manager Bhupinder Singh Hooda of Haryana the duo seemed to have ensured that the Congress government in Himachal is safe at least for now watching him in action a seasoned Congress election manager claimed Rajdeep ji we may have finally found an answer to the amit shah brand of politics now there are many similarities between dk and amit shah some of which are rather uncanny and i'm going to list all of them here today don't miss any of them number 1 like amit shah ji dk2 has come from within the party ranks he has risen as an organizational man first neither shah nor dk are seen as mass state leaders but both are astute razor sharp political managers the kind who seem to actually relish putting together the nuts and bolts of a party organization the congress may have won the last election in karnataka on the appeal of mr sidaramaiah but it was dk who held the organization together when it was in the opposition and thereby played a critical role in the congress victory number 2 both dk and amit shah may not be considered mass leaders but both are actually very strong on their home base amit shah for example has never lost an election in his ahmedabad bastion of sarkhej the margin of victory increasing each time similarly dk2 has not lost an election since 1989 when he was first elected to the karnataka assembly as a 27 year old karnataka politics itself is turbulent but dk has dominated the kanakpura constituency near bengaluru in fact so confident was he of his success in his seat that last year he only went on the last day to campaign in kanakpura number 3 both dk and amit shah are hugely resourceful now being resourceful may have positive and negative connotations 
But let's be honest here. Politics in India is not a morality play. Perhaps nowhere in the world. Cash is the oil that drives the political engine. Sabse bada rupaya. Both Shah and DK are personally wealthy. Amit Shah Ji's family was one of the early stockbroking traders and in fact he had blue chip shares with him way back in the 1970s and 80s. DK's family also owns plenty of land, precious land in and around Bengaluru. But their personal wealth has not stopped both of them from raising money through their business and political network. Whenever the Congress has fallen short of funds in recent years, the party has turned to DK. Until 2021, that task of raising money was left to Sonia Gandhi's political secretary, Ahmed Patel. Now it's DK who plays that key role. Number four, both Shah and DK, like all backroom political operators, are night owls. Raat ke bande. Amit Shah ji doesn't sleep before midnight. His late night meetings often stretch into the wee hours of the morning. DK too will be very happy to meet you at midnight. The one difference being that while the disciplined Shah is a teetotaler and should vegetarian, DK does love his drink. Number five, both DK and Amit Shah are enormously hardworking. I have seen Amit Shah doing a party meeting at midnight and then taking a 6 a.m. flight out. I have seen DK too in the last Karnataka election meeting party workers late into the night and next morning a little blurry eyed meeting us for an interview. Both in a sense therefore are consummate political animals who clearly relish the challenge and buzz of an election fight. Number six, both DK and Amit Shah are not loners but they are actually staunch family men. Amit Shah ji once told me how the one person he could never say no to was his little granddaughter. In the last election, DK proudly introduced me to his son who is doing law and DK said he hoped to see his son become a top professional one day. Number seven, both DK and Shah are God-fearing, extremely superstitious. DK won't start his day without spending time in his puja room at home. DK therefore wears his religion and his Hindu, Hindu religious identity on his sleeve. So does Shah. Number eight, both DK and Shah have nursed ambitions to be chief ministers of their home states. DK was extremely desperately keen to become chief minister of Karnataka last year, but lost out to Siddharamaya but has reportedly been promised a shot at the top job at the end of 2025. Amit Shah was also keen to become Gujarat chief minister in 2017, but lost out because as BJP president in Delhi, he was seen as someone too important to be allowed to move to Gandhinagar then. Number nine point, both DK and Amit Shah don't pretend to be practicing value-based politics. They know when to cut a deal, when to cut an opponent to size, when to befriend, befriend someone, when to reject someone. There is in that sense a ruthless edge to their politics, my friends, but also a desire, burning desire to win at all costs. Point number 10, and perhaps the most crucial one. More interestingly, both DK and Amit Shah have spent a period in jail. DK was arrested in 2019 under charges of money laundering and tax evasion and spent 50 days in jail. He claims that the BJP promised him immunity from prosecution if he switched sides. He says he refused because he was a congressman first and last. Amit Shah ji too spent three months in jail in 2010 on accusations of murder in the Surabuddin Sheikh fake encounter case. Shah too claims that he was being coerced to implicate Narendra Modi ji as a condition to be released by the then UPA government. He too says he refused because he was a BJP and Modi loyalist above all else. 
In a sense, this last point perhaps explains why both DK and Amit Shah are what they are now today. Two battle-hardened politicians who aren't going to give up without a fight won't give you an inch. Amit Shah's career changed in 2013 when he was made the BJP in charge of Uttar Pradesh and then in 2014 when he became BJP president, later home minister. One reason for this rise was the unstinted support he got from Prime Minister Modi, who had full confidence in someone he had worked with for more than two decades. Question now is, is the Congress leadership also fully willing to empower a DK in the same manner as Modi backed a Shah? Yes, the Congress still needs a leadership face to take on Mr. Modi nationally, but they are just as desperate or they just as desperately need someone to play at times a rather tough and rather dirty game called politics or Rajniti. Could DK be their man of the hour? Think about it. That was the straight bat. Do of course subscribe to my YouTube channel for many more such videos. For now, stay well, stay safe. Jai Hind, Namaskar.